Revenge Films. Hi, my name is Sherry. When I was 10, I began to live with my sister, who is 12 years older than me. It all started when our father told us we were going on a family vacation. Dad, I'm so excited! We're gonna take the train, right? That's right, Sherry! It's gonna be fun! We were all excited about the upcoming trip. I even planned with my mother and sister what to eat and where to go. I was in fourth grade at the time, and it was the first vacation in my life. I was so excited that I couldn't sleep the night before. However, I was dismayed the next morning. Around the time we were supposed to leave home, my father said, It's about time! Let's go! It's been a while since we traveled together. My grandparents were at our front door carrying their luggage. My father put on his shoes and said to my mother, Okay, I'll go now. Oh, and I'm not buying any souvenirs, okay? Then he left the house with my grandparents. I thought my grandparents were going on the trip with us, so I said, Wait, Dad, Grandma, Grandpa, wait for me. I put my shoes on hastily and followed them outside. Sherry, stop! My sister tried to stop me, but I didn't hear her and quickly ran to my father. But he had a disgusted look when he saw me. What are you doing? Are you trying to follow us? I froze at his words and still didn't understand what was happening. What? Aren't we going on a family trip? I asked. My father replied. Yeah, I'm going on a trip with my family. My mother, my father, and I. Did you think I was going with you guys? How stupid are you? See you when I'm back. My father scoffed, and he went to my grandparents. Then I went back home and broke down into tears. My mother and sister realized what my father was up to when my grandparents showed up at our door in the morning. But I was too young to understand anything. Even though my father was cold to me, I still didn't realize I wasn't included on the family trip. I hate them! I hope they have an accident and die! My sister vented her anger while trying to comfort me. Later, my sister told me our father and grandparents had been bullying my mother for as long as she could remember. My grandparents used to say to my mother, You're so lazy! I didn't know what she meant. I thought she was talking about my mother's cooking. But apparently, that was not what they meant. When my mother and sister complained to my father about my grandparents, he replied, It was your fault, wasn't it? and didn't take it seriously. But this time, my mother and sister thought my father was planning our family trip. They were happy that he finally decided to do something nice for us. They thought he had changed, so they didn't ask anything and let my father make the travel plans however he wanted. But as it turned out, my father was still the same as before. That's why my sister got furious when she found out my father had planned a trip to bully us again. Not long after, my sister got a new job and decided to move out. My sister tried many times to talk to my mother into getting a divorce. Sherry is still young. I can't let her live without her dad. My mother was always hesitant about divorce. All right then, I'll move out and bring Sherry with me. Go ahead if you want to keep living with that man. So I moved out with my sister. After my sister and I left, my father let my grandparents move into our home, so me and my sister's room became theirs. My mother had no choice but to start living with them. My mother would come to see me at my sister's place during the day when my sister went to work. Then she'd complain about my father and grandparents and even badmouth my sister to me. It wasn't a pleasant experience for me to listen to her complaints. My sister always said, Leave it to your big sister. I'll take good care of you. And she would give me everything she could. But my mother would say, Come home and live with your dad again. And she tried to pull me away from my sister. I could feel my father didn't treat us like family. 
and I didn't want to go back home and live with him at all. But at the same time, I felt insecure and worried about being abandoned. So, I was always anxious when waiting for my sister to return home. I'm going to be late today, so don't wait up for me and go to bed early. Even when my sister sent me messages and told me to go to bed, I would stare at the front door and wait for her to come home. Later, my mother finally moved in with us. My father died of severe illness caused by unhealthy lifestyle. My grandparents on my mother's side passed away long ago, so my mother had nowhere else to go. Your father didn't know how to take care of himself, so I had to stay and take care of him. My mother stood by my father till the end. My sister replied, He got what he deserved. Then my grandmother said, You're as arrogant as your mother. I can't believe how cold-hearted you are. But my sister couldn't care less about them and kicked them out of the house. And she quickly sold the house and land. My sister always told me, You don't need to worry about a thing. Leave everything to me. Now that I think about it, it must have been hard for my sister. She grew up with a mother who didn't work or do much housework. So I said to her, Tell me how I can help. I want to help out. I told you not to worry about anything. All right, you can help cook dinner once in a while if you want. I started to learn how to cook, but the food I made wasn't that good. But my sister always said, it's delicious. And ate everything I made. By the way, my father used to be nice to my mother before her parents passed away. So my sister has a memory of him being kind, but I've never seen that. And the reason my sister and I have such a big age gap is that my mother thought maybe my father would be nice to her again if she had another baby. But that didn't happen, as she had hoped. My mother knew how much I loved my sister but she still wouldn't stop talking behind her back. It was cold of your sister to abandon your dad like that. I hated it so much when my mother said those kinds of things. My sister is now married and doesn't live with me anymore. She has a kind husband and a healthy baby. I never told my sister about how my mother talked behind her back, but my mother still speaks ill of her all the time. I asked my mother multiple times, don't you think you owe my sister a lot? You get to live a comfortable life because of her. She has never done anything wrong. But she always said, You were too young to understand anything, Sherry. She took you away from your dad and me. Now you won't even listen to me because of her. I can't believe you've become a child who doesn't know right from wrong. It's all your sister's fault. She ruined everything. She would always blame everything on my sister. At the same time, she would act completely different when she called my sister. I'm sorry for always troubling you. You deserve to be happy. I really hate how my mother acts like a good person in front of my sister. But I could never tell my sister the harsh things our mother said behind her back. My sister seemed to know my mother's personality very well. Come live with us, Sherry. I have a guest room saved for you. She said, My other relatives once told me, My mother had been telling them I was a useless daughter. She said I was supposed to help her rekindle her relationship with my father, but that didn't happen, so I was useless. She even said that it was depressing for her to see my face, so I decided to move out from home and get a place near my sister's house after graduating high school. My mother doesn't work, so my sister has been supporting us financially. But my sister secretly told me she had plans to cut our mother off once I moved out. For some reason, my mother seems to think I'll live with her forever. Unlike your sister, you're slow and not good at anything. But it's okay if you can't get married. We can take care of each other. She said. I'm leaving you soon, mom. I'm sorry for being useless. I'll live my own life now. So please don't ever bother me again. How was today's video? If you enjoyed it, please subscribe, like, and leave a comment. Stay tuned for more.